Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today is a day in my life, what I eat in the day, and also Q&A get to know me tag because we've reached 500 subscribers so I thought it might be fun to do one. I was kind of late this morning so I just like woke up, got ready and immediately went to my morning meeting for my internship and also made breakfast at the same time which is why I couldn't really say anything and like uh, say good morning to you guys. But yeah, this one is a gonna be a good video and sorry about some of the audio when I was outside I didn't realize it turned out so badly so I cut a few things but yeah hope you enjoy the video and yeah let's get into it second round because they're just so addicting but this time instead of sesame I have Peanut butter, peanut butter and dates. Oh. So I just finished my morning meetings. Um, we have a meeting every morning, and yeah, I was gonna wake up earlier today, but a realistic day in the life is some days you just don't wake up early and you miss your alarm. So I woke up. I immediately went to kind of get kind of ready and then on the meetings and then during the meetings kind of snicked up some breakfast which was yep I ate six dates with tons tons of peanut butter and sesame paste thing well kind of sesame butter I guess and the rest of some chocolate so um welcome to Presence's wonderful healthy breakfast not really tons of fat but I eat random stuff honestly for breakfast I don't really care too much I mean it's technically the summer but I still have one exam to go so I'll be revising for exams I've got also I'm doing a full-time internship right now at a startup um, at a fintech startup super fun um, lots of work to do um, and yeah just like day in a life nothing too fancy or anything no no parties or anything, just a, a work day. Anyway, let's just answer some questions. I don't know how many questions, I was thinking maybe like 50 questions. Uh, okay, so one of my friends asked, what would you say to yourself five years ago if you could go back and give advice? Um, I really liked this question. If I could go back to my five-year-old, uh, five-year-old, like five years ago, genuinely five years ago, I was a completely different person. What I would tell myself five years ago is that you're stronger than you think and you can genuinely become a new person in five years time if you believe in it, which you did. Um, I need to say to this to myself now, but I think before I would just tell myself, believe in yourself, is like I guess the cliche, but genuinely believe in yourself and really uh, yeah, stop thinking about what other people think. This is I think number one, it's just the people that you know now, which is like five years ago, they are not really going to be in your life. In fact, they're, yeah, they're completely, every single person is out of your life and you worrying about what they th thought about you is just one a waste of time number two is holding you back so much from doing what you want to do or just just being happy um and so i would want like to i would tell myself before like yeah five years ago just just really don't care what people think because people move on people change the people around you change um and accept it accept that sometimes you know you just won't be with the same people and so you shouldn't let those people dictate what you do and you should really listen to yourself and um, that's the biggest advice I would give um, so yeah let's just uh, I guess continue my day I don't know basically I just have a bunch of tasks to do maybe um, grab some more food I don't know I'm always hungry in the morning but um yeah let's go same location uh, working and yeah nothing so exciting but lunchtime I'm like a super random eater so I 
um, fried some chicken yesterday, chicken breast, and just added um, and um, added some mayo because there wasn't actually much taste. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, before I eat, let's answer another question that I got. Where did my name come from? Um, so if you guys don't know me, my name is Presence. Um, Presence is quite, I guess, a unique name. Um, how did it come from? Honestly, I don't really know. My dad gave it to me, I think. I think my dad had that idea, and then my mom. Um, but I think they, they're just, at the time, they were very, like, meditate, being present, being in the now, and just, like, enjoying life now. And I think that's when they had the idea of just, like, why not call their daughter presents. Um, so yeah, I, I used to not really like my name. I thought it was weird. I thought it didn't fit in and I just didn't like it. But honestly, now I love my name. I think it's just like pretty solid name. Anyway, I'm thinking of postgraduate study. In the beginning, I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna study economics and then I'm gonna do a master's in economics and then I'm gonna become an economist. Um, but things have changed. And right now, I don't see myself doing a master's. I see myself doing like work right away. Unless I unless my goals change again and I need a master's. Otherwise, I think I'm good and um I'm just much more excited to actually start work than study at the moment. Um so yeah, I don't really plan on doing a master's. If I was, then it depends on what grades I get. Um I mean, the dream would always be like either Oxbridge or LSE again, but I would also really, if like, if money was not the problem, then I would love to go to the USA to study um, for like a master's. But yeah, will that happen? We shall see. Um, I just want to work really. I'm not really too keen on further study, but yeah. back to work. For dinner slash, I don't really eat dinner, I eat, I eat a lot in the morning and then snack and then afternoon and then I don't really eat that much in, for dinner, um, so, and it's not actually dinner time anyway, but anyway, just like, I treat this as dinner. Avocado and also, yeah, some more of the leftover chicken that I made. Um, and while I cut this amazing, beautiful avocado, I hope it's good, let's answer another question. What do you like the most about LSE and what do you hate the most about LSE? Um, so I would say the thing that I like the most, honestly, it's hard to say what I like the most. I think there's no like, I like the most most but there's a lot of things that I do like number one is just like the view sometimes well I forgot the name of the center but there is a place at LSE and you you want to work you sit there you work there and the view is just like I wish I could work here forever kind of that's the vibe that I get sometimes so far everyone like literally everyone I've met super friendly super outgoing and something I really like is that you talk to someone and they've been to like what three at least three different countries like everyone is just so diverse so international um definitely when they say that people are from all over the place they're definitely from all over the place so it's so cool to actually get to meet these people um i think i've learned a lot since kind of meeting people from all over different countries and some countries i've never heard before um so yeah it's been really good that that part um it's hard to like talk and cut at the same time so um anyway <laughs> Oh. And what I, what I dislike the most about LSE, I would say maybe the pressure, the the yeah the pressure that the imposter syndrome. I guess like I think everyone or a lot of people I talk to actually have that, and I definitely have it. Is I just don't I just don't feel like I'm good enough to be there. Everyone is just really smart. Um, it feels like everyone knows what they want in life and you're the only one who doesn't. Um, ooh. E this is a good avocado. Tiny bit, well, like, just right. There's a tiny bit there, but it's a good one. It's a good one! Okay, anyway, 
that's my weirdness. Um, I think, yeah, like, the thing I don't really like is just how there is a lot of, it feels like there's a lot of pressure. Where everyone is just so smart. Like, before I was the, you know, the smart one at school, and then you go to a uni where everyone, like, that's the, that's the basic, everyone has the grades, and everyone is smart. Like, so many people are just, like, the things they say, it's just like, how do you know all this stuff? Um, so, um, that, and also just, yeah, the, the pressure, it, it's like you're either going into banking or consulting and there's no other route which is obviously wrong but there is that kind of vibe there oh this oh, smells so good anyway it's the same as like lunch but yeah i just kind of bought coat a few days ago um so yeah that's kind of what i don't really like about um lse a question um, i also got which i really like is what is your goal for your channel. Um, like I started this channel during lockdown last year. The main reason was I just that there's a well. The main reason was because there was a lot of TSA videos, and I just I just didn't feel like there was enough, and I wanted to basically create what I create videos that I wish I had when I was in year twelve. Um, so I was bored and I had like time, so I thought why not let's start. Um, and now I just wanna yeah create videos that. Will actually help you guys. Um, at the same time, I also want to have some fun and maybe make some like day in the life videos like this, and just also vlogs with friends. And it's like it's, if you're not like a vlogger or like a YouTuber, it, most people don't really vlog their whole day or vlog like their day out with friends. And I feel like we just should do more of that because this is going to be what you're going to want to look back on in like five to ten years time. Is is the memories that you make and just the random day in a life videos and when you're like 40 and you look back at oh presence was eating avocado and chicken when she was 20 and now look at me eating avocado and chicken again <laughs> i don't know um or just just like memories really so yeah i just feel like it's fun to make videos to document my life and look back in the future just has like memory um and also create videos that will actually have value and actually help you guys because um i know what's it what it's like when you're in your in a levels and hopefully when i graduate i will know what it's like like you know this i mean i already feel like i've learned so much of how university is actually like um so just yeah kind of passing down what i learn during my life um just makes me kind of happy if i if i know that my videos help you guys and if you guys enjoy it please give a like and subscribe by the way if you like avocado as well oh avocado and toast i don't have toast oh avocado and toast is so good why am i eating avocado and chicken i don't really use that yeah, but anyway um so yeah it's mainly like making videos that i hope would help you guys and yeah mm. Mm. oh i love avocado uh, okay um, so, avocado, chicken, yeah, let us go and, um, enjoy dinner. I'm craving sugar. There's no, nothing at home. I live close to the store, so I guess. Okay, this is basically like a what I eat in a day video. A random question for myself is if there's sweets, which one do I go for? It's usually orange, like wine gums or anything. I'm gonna be stealing all the orange sweets. If I share with anyone, you bet I'll be taking the orange ones. So, yep, just random fact. Do I have any siblings? Nope, I do not have any siblings. This is just, just me. Yeah, just me. Favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is navy blue or sky blue and red. And final question before I go back to work is, um, Will I be living in London next year? And the answer is yes. I will be living in London next year. Um, last year, because of COVID, I decided to stay at home, but next year I will be moving into halls. So, 
super, super excited. I just decided to film what I do in a day in the Q&A today, but I also forgot that, gosh, provisional exam results are today. So I just got an email to tell me about like the grades I got for the exams that I have done for the year. Oh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Uh, I still have one exam to go, so I don't know about that, but um, so now I'm going to check my exam results for the year um, and basically the rule is that if you pass three out of your three modules out of four modules then you are safe to pass to second year. 60% um, is a 2-1, 70% is a first. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna share what I got, but um, why am I so nervous? This isn't like, gosh, this is scary. Okay, yeah, so um, I don't wanna talk about exams right now. Today was a good day. Back to work. Back to work. So it's now nearly 5 p.m. Wait. Oh, it's 6 p.m. Oh my gosh, it's 6 p.m. Oh, okay. So it's nearly 6 p.m. now, and I've been working until 6 p.m. Um, and I have a call of year 12 about personal statements, and then I am going off to the gym to, yeah, to do some combat. So I have a class. Um, yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're applying for econ and management. Because of how competitive it is, you don't want the admission tutor to feel like you would be better suited to another course. Okay, so I finished my call with the year 12 and now I, I'm just rushing out because my class starts at 7. gym class definitely body combat if you guys haven't tried body combat then like try it it's so fun I just thought this spot was pretty nice so I'm just gonna sit here and just answer a few more questions that I got what's my dream job so yeah dream job uh, if anything was possible then um, I wish I could either start my own business or yeah, start a business or start a startup. That's like the dream. Um, right now I'm interning at a startup and I realised how hard it actually is, but I think it's more like the experiences I want to have in life um, and yeah, there's a lot of experiences I want to have and that requires money. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what happens, what actually happens. Where do you... Where do you see yourself in 10 years? So the, the question in the morning was, what would I tell my younger self? And now this question is, where do I see myself in 10 years? 10 years, I'll be 30. Well, okay. So in 10 years, I hope that I will be fitter. Um, I hope that, this is like me talking to my future self, I don't know. Okay, 10 years, I hope that I will have started my own startup or business. Um, I will be in a relationship. I will feel financially secure because that's something that I don't feel um, with my family and everything. But yeah, I want to. I just. I want to feel financially secure. Well, in in ten. Where do I see myself? Okay, I don't know if that actually uh, answers the question. But in ten years, I want to feel financially secure. I want to you know have my own business or startup. I want to be health, the healthiest version of myself, the happiest version of myself, and just the most confident version of myself. Um, and just like happy and just living life, you know? In 10 years I see myself living the best life ever. Um, 
not that I'm not living it now, but yeah. Why do you seem so positive all the time and why do you smile a lot is the two I saw quite a lot. Um, I think I used to be very negative and I just train myself to be more positive as well I try to. I'm not saying I always am but like I try to be as positive as I can number one and I just like smiling because when you smile it's hard to be sad so keep smiling because when like genuinely smile and like, try to be sad. I can't really be sad but I'm not saying that I don't be sad but I'm not sad but yeah anyway just smile more um, is like that's why I smile. Um, so yeah those are the questions and now I'm gonna head home. I didn't know where to add this but I just really really wanted to add this views clips but basically yesterday I found this little baby bird, it was raining, I couldn't find the nest and everything so I took him home for like a few hours and then I put him back to his place because it was just pouring rain and I just, I don't know, it just felt like the right thing to do. I was like oh my gosh that was cute, is he? Just have to add a few clips but yeah that was yesterday but let's continue. Okay, so the original plan was to go home from the gym and do internship work and finish and do revision for my final exam. But I got a call from a friend, from like a really close friend from 10 years ago and we just like, we just hit it off, we just started talking until like now which is 11pm. Um, so, you know, some things just happen um, and like reconnecting with a friend from 10 years ago when you were in year seven, like best mates of year seven and just like, oh, just, yeah, it's, it's nice. Some, sometimes I guess we need to like, connect with just people and, and yeah, so um, that was unexpected. That's kind of my day um, and I hope everyone enjoyed it. I hope that you guys got to know me a bit more. Again, thank you so much for 500 subscribers. Um, I really appreciate all the support and I'm looking forward to making more videos, both fun and both um, valuable to you guys. So if you have any recommendations, anything you want me to like film or anything, just like hit me up in the comments. I don't know. I'm just I'm just so bubbly right now because I just yeah, it's just so nice to talk to old friends. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.